Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have this package. Um, You will know what it is. Right now, as I'm recording, I have no clue what this is. So um, hopefully you're having a great day. Um, we're gonna open up this mystery package and see where it came from. I wanna say it might be Victoria's Moon. Ugh. We can get through all the tape. It came from US, the, the post guy gave it to me just now. So, let's see what this is. Get the trash bag off of it. Uh, the top of the box is talking to us here, but that's all right. Uh, let's see, we got something that's smushed in here. So let's see, let's get this out of here. Oh, okay. Um, uh, all right, so we got a toolkit. Yep, I'm gonna guess this is Victoria's Moon, so here's the box. All right, so let's go into a few things first first things first one it's not even rolled like evenly so that's sad um let's go into a few things with victoria's moon now i did a review of victoria's moon uh maybe about a week ago uh i will have it linked in the eye somewhere it'll just pop out at you um i did a review for them because like they did for most of all of YouTube, uh, they sent me a free canvas and I was like, oh sweet, all right, let's check this out. Let's see what they got going. You know, we're gonna check them out. Um, I was unhappy with my kit. Now, when I'm unhappy with a kit, the first thing I do is I go and I message, I, I do my video, I message the seller to let them know what my issues were, uh, try to get a resolution before I record said video. Um, or after I record so I can add in that little edit at the end. Um, but with Victoria's Moon, because they're a different time zone, uh, it took them a while to get back to me. Like, I think it took them like a day or so to get back to me, which is not a problem. Um, the lady was extremely nice. Uh, she was like, you know, would you like to pick another kit? Would you like to get the same image in a 100 by 100? And I'm like, oh, dear sweet Lord, no. Where would I put that? Um, my daughter's whole room would be nothing but the Disney princesses. So I was like, well, let me choose another image. So I chose a Tinkerbell image and she told me, you know, no, don't choose that one. It probably won't give you the best detail. And then I chose another image after that. And she goes, that doesn't have a whole lot of detail. How about one of these? And she showed me a couple of pictures and I was like, and eh, that's not really my style. Um, and then I saw this image. And so I was like, all right, let me get this one. And we'll see if we can make a part two here. Now, customer service is great, but I will say this. You guys seen that I put up a post where a company was asking me to take down one of my reviews. Now, I do not and will not ever take down a video after it has already aired. Why? Because I don't have to, one. Two, because no matter how good a company thinks they are, there is always room for improvement. And that is every company. That's even, that's, that's anything in life. There's always room for improvement. Now, with that said, I do not like the way the woman handled, and her name is Alvina. I don't like the way she handled the situation by trying to guilt trip me into taking down the video by telling me that she doesn't want her business to crumble from my bad review. One, if your business crumbles from the viewpoint of one YouTuber, then it's not the YouTuber's fault that your business crumbled, believe me. Um, two, you do not message someone and try to guilt trip them into taking down a review because it was unfavorable to your company. You take that and use it as a way to improve what you have going on because as a creator, I'm here to make sure that companies are producing the best product possible that they can produce. The image I got was not the best product possible. 
Um, I saw that there was a couple of people that had the same uh, that had the same issue that I did, that they weren't happy with their kits, and they were also sent out a second kit to try. Um, you, you just you just don't do that. You don't guilt trip somebody into taking down a video because one, I don't think I have feelings because I when I saw that I was just like, now I'm really not taking down the video. Even if I had the inkling thought to take it down, that right there set me off and I was like, no, it's not coming down. So my first canvas from this company was absolute garbage. Um, it was blurry. The symbols and stuff were okay. There were bubbles. There were rivets. The ends of it were curled up just like this. Um, so I wasn't happy with it. So after the whole guilt tripping and everything went off, she let me pick out a new kit, but she did let me know that she did take what I said into consideration and that they are working on making improvements like adding a foam core and a couple of other things. I will insert the email, the very long email here at like six minutes and 10 seconds. my first interaction in customer service. I'm not saying just because a company gets a bad review doesn't mean that they're a bad company. That just means they had a they, they had one image that was not savory. So if you were to buy from this company and get that very image, you're going to want to go huge. Now, I've seen that said that same image from AliExpress in a 50 by 50 and it looked perfect. But all companies do things differently. So if you were to order that image of the princesses from this company, you're gonna wanna go bigger than a 60 by 60. Now, I did have a lot of people that asked, well, what if you just worked on it? One, I it would be a waste of time. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna sorta kinda do a collaboration. Yes, Miss Coffee is gonna collaborate, but not with a creator on YouTube, with a subscriber. A US subscriber, I have to point that out because it's, it's super expensive to ship out of the country. If you yourself would like to do a collaboration with me and work on the 60 by 60 print that I was that I received from Victoria's Moon, contact me. All my contact information is down in the description box. You can contact me through email, Instagram, Facebook, my group on Facebook, which is Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee. The first person in the US to contact me and say, I would love to do the collaboration with you. I will send you the kit to work up. As you make progress, I will add that pro those progress videos into my videos for the week. And then I will show everyone at the end and a big, huge thank you to the person that helps me out with that. I will show them why that image, the way it was, didn't have great detail or anything. Me personally, I don't have time to work on it just to prove a point. But if one of my lovely subscribers would love to do so, contact me. Let's do a collaboration, shall we? All right, now, enough of that. Enough of this toolkit, because y'all don't care about no toolkit. So, we're gonna unroll this. Ooh, looky there. <laughs> oh my God. I couldn't make it up if I tried, folks. I could not make it up if I tried. All right, so, oh, oh my goodness. Do you see this? Do you see it? Again, 
couldn't make it up if I tried. So we got another one of those pins. Also, if you uh, wanna do the collaboration, I will send you this pink pin. Um, this is stuck to the glue. <laughs> For all those people that were like, oh, Miss Coffee, you're being kind of mean. Yeah, would you like receiving this in the mail after you paid probably like 45 to 50 bucks for it? All right, round drills. Look, look, at, the, look at this canvas. Just, just admire the wrinkles. This has more wrinkles than a senior citizen home, okay? Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I will not be contacting, I, I will contact the company again I will not be getting another image from them. Um, I cannot say that I would recommend them either just based on that. Now, when you get these, these canvases, and this is a 60 by 60, again, it is around. When you get these canvases, this is not what they are supposed to look like. This literally was shoved into a box any kind of way. They didn't even try to show it any kind of care. And I'm not saying that the lady Alvina did it herself because I'm pretty sure she's never seen any of these kits. But this is not how you want your diamond painting to come. Again, it should not look like a senior citizen home. No offense to senior citizens. But again, this has more wrinkles than a senior citizen home. Um, I can almost guarantee you there are gonna be bubbles and rivets and all kinds of fun stuff throughout this canvas. I will still take a look at it. Um, obviously it can be fixed. I am being a little extra, but when something is sent to be reviewed and then I'm made to feel like my feelings about the product are invalid and then I get this, I, I think I earned the right to be a little bit extra. It's going to be a little bit extra. All right. So let's have a look, shall we? Now this can be fixed by ironing. And it doesn't, it's all, okay, so the paper is two pieces. It's one huge piece, and then it's cut right here as a second piece. So to see this, I literally have to open this all the way up, all the way down here. And it looks like we're going to slowly, slowly take it back. And I'm not saying, again, please do keep in mind, all people have different experiences with companies. From the reviews I saw, no one else's kit looked like this. So this could just be a fluke. Again, right now, I don't see any bubbles in the canvas. I do see a lot of wrinkles, which again, can be fixed by laying it flat somewhere to give it time to relax, putting something heavy on it. Um, yeah. This image looks a lot better. I actually want to work on this. Um, it's not going to be anything immediate, but I will work on this canvas as long as, you know, this bottom part wasn't ruined eh, too bad by the thing being on it. But yes, there is a rivet here in the canvas. Hold on, let me close the top part up. We're going to close the top part up, try to flatten out some of these wrinkles. All right. So let me tell you what I'm, show you what I'm talking about. So down here, sorry, there's a fly in here. He's annoying the crap out of me. So right here, do you see that? Do you see how the glue is lifted up, but the canvas has a big bubble in the back of it, like right there? That is what you call a rivet. Uh, or a river, I'm sorry. It's when the canvas and glue separate and the glue bubbles on top while the canvas is bubbled in the back. So you just essentially have this going on. Um, there's a big old rivet down here. Let me show you where that piece of the plastic was attached to this kit. So that's where the damage comes in from that plastic from the diamonds being attached to it. Uh, the symbols are a little bit illegible, but I will work through it. Again, this will not be anything that I work on anytime soon, but I will get to it eventually. So to fix this, you essentially would cut a slit 
into this is how I fix uh, rivets or rivers or what are you gonna call them I just cut a slit down through and then I try to lay it flat and smooth it out and of course this one little strip one this should have been at least cut into four or five strips this one huge strip like they literally I don't know if they sent this to me like this on purpose or if this was literally just yet again another fluke for Miss Coffee but uh this is awful this is just horrendous like no I will not recommend this company to you guys I cannot on good faith have you waste your money on this company based on my reviews if you people are gonna do what they want to do if you look at my review and go well I'm gonna check out some more reviews and you decide to order from the company that is on you there's no hard feelings or anything like that me personally I would never give a dime of my money to this company for the simple fact of I got my first image which was blurry the second image which was wrinkled to hell and back um, and then there's a river a big old river in it um, I'm going to have to doctor the canvas just to work on it. Uh, when you get a canvas, you're not supposed to have to doctor it. And for as much as this canvas ran, I can't say that I would suggest this company to anyone. So let's check it out here. So this is a water lily. If you focus on it. So it's a water lily and it has like a little rosebud thing up at the top here. It has 35 colors from the looks of it. So if you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, uh, too late now. <laughs> so let's get into this, shall we? So let's see. We have number 20, number 19, number 30, 7, 22. We're going to do this like a boss, and then when I come back, you guys will know if I have all the drills. All right? Go. All right. So, all the colors are there. The diamonds, again, look really good, which is a shame because the canvas looks like garbage. Um, so, yeah. For me, this company gets two big old thumbs down. I would not spend a dime here. Um, I would say do your research before buying from this company because, you know, not all canvases are obviously going to come like this, but the last two canvases I got did. And again, you can check out my review that's going to pop up in the eye. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this company, please leave them down in the comment section below. Also leave down what is your experience with Victoria's Moon? Has it been good? Has it been bad? Uh, I know a couple of the creators were saying about how they had a lot of Diamond Art Club stolen images on their site. Uh, and the moment they take down two, they put up four more. So that's a never-ending battle right there in itself. But business-wise, I would not spend a dime with them. Blurry canvases, wrinkled canvases. They claim they're working to make improvements, and this was not one of the improved canvases. But, um, yeah, I don't want to see the improved. I don't, I don't want to do anything else because at this point, I'm just getting more stuff that I'm either not A, going to work on or B, have to work and doctor on before I even get a chance to use it. So, yeah, I'm not happy with them. I won't be doing business with them. But please, do your research before Xing out this company. Uh, this is just my opinions, my views on my channel. So, it is what it is, folks. But if you'd be happy with a kit like this, you know, to each their own, please feel free to go ahead. Um, I will be linking Victoria's Moon down below if you would feel froggy and would like to give them a try. Um, as for me, that's it. It's time for me to go back into mommy mode. So thank you guys oh so very much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the comment section, folks. I, I can't answer them if you don't ask them. All right. So with that said, if you're not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe, please feel free to leave, or I'm sorry, please feel free <laughs> to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified 
anytime I randomly decide to put up a video and believe me, it's random. With that said, I'm going to bid you adieu, but not before reminding you to always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys.